What? This looks like a global expedition vehicle, but it's not. It's an adventure. No, it is a global. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. I know my overland truck. <laughs> um, but yeah, this thing's beauty. What's up everyone? Well, we're here at Moore Expo, checking out all the beautiful rigs. And I gotta say, other than my Bison Overland camper and uh, the campers we have at the booth, this Global Expedition Vehicle Adventure truck is potentially my favorite of the show. Um, now, it's a big truck. The hard side, non-pop-up, is pretty neat for inclement weather, all that kind of stuff. Sorry about audio too, you'll hear a little bit of background noise, of course. I was gonna go grab my mics and stuff, but I wanted to show you this truck. The show's almost over in a couple hours. So of course you got that Factor 55 shackle, worn 16 and a half thousand pound winch, the 16.5 Ti, same winch we had in the Dodge Mahal. This is kind of uh, like a Dodge Mahal, you guys. Pretty neat. American Expedition Vehicle snorkel. Um, and of course these Big old Goodyear military style kind of tires. So love the big windows and the back you've got Max Tracks, little, little Roto Packs, only a couple gallons there, but that'll get you something. And just like my truck, we've got a winch up here to lower that spare tire down. Definitely important. Have something there. But these are the spec sheet here on this truck. So it looks like pushing about four to 600 watt solar panels. It is 24 feet long. So the cool thing is this is a molded fiberglass body. So this is, you know, similar to the Dodge Mahal in that it was molded, but you can see a lot of really cool pieces they've done with the fiberglass here. Like this, especially to hold the spare is really neat. Um, but yeah, I was just talking to this gentleman here and he says, this thing feels like a regular truck to drive. You know, you can't feel the camper on it a ton. How you doing? Pretty good. How you guys doing? Doing great. Good. Loving this truck, man. Thank you. Composite? Yeah, it's all yeah, it's all built in house too. So we do it all here at Springfield. Awesome. Well, you're just right down the road then. Yeah, yep. seven miles from here. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh man. So this is actually a I like this table. My yeah, table's this be nice. my table's gonna fold, but this table folds in two. Yeah, the isotherm. I know this this layout is so neat, but you know what, honey? What? Our bed's gonna be bigger than this. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Like like it's kind of a Oh yeah, that's small kind of a small bed. bed. What the heck? Yeah. That's like a one person bed. Yeah, and you know, next to it is the full wet bath. Yeah. Which is beautiful, but I don't know, I'd almost rather have a like bed. you know, a shower you could make in here. Yeah. Just for those once a week yeah, or two yeah. that we shower. Or a shower outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have, have a bigger a, bed. Right? Me yeah. too. Yeah. But well, that's, yeah. everyone's different. That's true. This truck's priced at about 290000 so start saving up, you guys. The kitchen's really nice. Love that fridge, microwave. Eh, I don't know if everyone needs a microwave, but that's okay. Um, and then it looks like an induction cooktop. Get the, put those 400 amp hours of lithium to use and really nice looking sink. But no, I love this huge hatch. This, I haven't actually seen a hatch that's like curved like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And these lights look pretty fancy too. Those are neat. I like this kind of stuff that, you know, really starts to look like a home. So I love those little push latches that they use on that. Yeah, that big, big wet bath with the cassette toilet. Um, big windows on this side, not a whole lot of windows on this side, but that's okay. But yeah, I love that fiberglass molded body. It's really beautiful. All the curves and all the little pieces you get there with that is definitely neat. And I just noticed too, it's got a little extension so that if you don't have someone sitting in the dinette, you can have that extension over. So, well, no, well, Basto heater. But, uh,. Yeah, and a little bit smaller of a dinette. Like my dinette will be able to be like have three or four people over for yeah. dinner. This is like two people. Yeah, that's um, small. But there's just pros and cons to every build for sure. This has a lot of like interior space. This yeah. feels really comfy. Oh yeah. I mean, this and would you can be stand in it without needing to pop the top. Well, Although I don't know, I think you might actually have to crouch a little bit, honestly. I mean. Yeah, you do. A little bit, yeah. yeah. 
But that's okay. Yeah. Like, I like I like this height of the hard top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is so so sweet. I don't think they want me reaching in and pressing stuff. So, but yeah, I love that style of fridge too. Dometic makes some of these marine style fridges, but beautiful beautiful truck from global exhibition vehicles um and really kind of cool composite roof rack over top <laughs> um that's kind of neat babe it's like a composite roof rack yeah huh that is pretty cool beast absolute beast but you know what my tires are almost as big i'm probably a couple feet lower i'm surely three four thousand pounds lighter so I don't know why I want to compare my truck to everything right now, but it's fun, you know? I feel like my truck is a sacrifice in a lot of ways. So that's, yeah. But yeah, just like explaining the sacrifice of the small, you know, the things that we give up with my truck and then the things that we gain versus other rigs too. It's really cool. There's no right or wrong. When you're, especially when you're living full time out of a vehicle. Yeah. Artemis Overland. It's crazy. There's, Julie and I were just talking too. There's a lot of like different companies here. We're not really used to, no. like what you see on the West Coast at West Coast shows is just a lot of different stuff. Yeah. But uh, anyways, just wanted to show you the Global X Adventure truck. Like and comment. Let me know what you think of this truck compared to mine. I always like comparing things to my camper now. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Really the only question is, are you down to mom? Woo.